Hi, my name is Amanda Haley with Denison Yachting, and I'm here today to walk you through this 2017 54 foot Janot named Princess Layla II. These three features make her an ease to single handle her in mast roller furling mainsail, her electric jib furling system, and her electric Harkin winches. Let's start our breakdown with Princess Layla all the way forward on the bow. Her ground tackle consists of a plow anchor with 200 feet of chain and Lumar electric windlass. Her electric furling jib works masterfully with the self-tacking jib found directly forward of the mast. The forward crew quarters offers a separate head and sink with bunks, which is difficult to show in detail on camera. Her unique forward deck sun lounge can be used while underway. The jib will clear the sunshade while tacking. From here, let's turn our attention midship. She features an in-mast roller furling mainsail and rigid boom vang. The running rigging is neatly concealed under the combing and the mainsail lines have what's called a German sheeting configuration. This simply means you can control the mainsail from either side of the cockpit. Continuing aft, we pass one of the two boarding ladders on either side of the catwalks. Princess Layla boasts teak side decks that continue aft into the cockpit. Before we take a look at the cockpit, let's point out some features on the stern. One of the things I love is the electric swim platform that is easily deployed with the touch of a button. This space is multifunctional for swimming, fishing, and diving while also sunbathing on the comfortable aft cushion. To our port is the engine bracket with its own deploying boom. Moving into the cockpit, centerline, we find access to the 7.5 kilowatt Cummins Onan generator. Both helm seats raise to provide access to a pair of large storage lockers. This 54 Janot features a dual helm configuration with a single rudder. One has easy visibility to trim sails and scan the horizon through the full Dodger and Bimini. On the starboard side is the primary helm. Here we have her quick bow thruster, chain counter, as well as Raymarine autopilot and depth and speed display. Outboard of the compass is her Raymarine hybrid touch multifunctional display. On either side, we find a pair of electric Harkin rewind winches. As I previously mentioned, all lines lead aft as to not obstruct the spacious cockpit. The lines are neatly stored below this hatch. The spacious cockpit features the upgraded table with teak leaves and plenty of storage. This cockpit can comfortably seat eight people. My favorite area in this space are the forward nooks on either side of the companionway. This area is a perfect place to relax while enjoying a sunset or to escape the wind and rain on a blustery day. From here, follow me down the companionway as we tour her interior. Below the companionway stairs is her 80 horsepower Yanmar engine, which is a sail drive. One of the unique features of her layout is the full-size starboard aft galley, which contains plenty of storage. She's equipped with a three-burner gimbaled stove with hood and a two-basin stainless sink with foot pump. Across from here are her refrigerator and freezer drawers and more counter space. One step outside of the galley and we are at the nav station. On the top left is the salon air conditioning control 
and the ship-to-shore power breakers. Just to the right, one can view the full electrical panel. On the bottom left is the Raymarine hybrid touch display. Moving to the right is the generator start switch, VHF radio, and fusion stereo. The salon takes advantage of the full beam of the yacht. The table can electrically lower and raise to coffee table or dinner table height. It can also be fully lowered to convert into another berth. On the forward bulkhead is a large Sony TV. To the port is a six-foot settee which transforms this area into a voluminous entertaining space. Aft on the port side is the guest stateroom. This suite features a queen-sized berth and an ensuite head with separate shower. Through the salon is the forward cabin with a walk-around queen-sized berth. There is seating to port and starboard with copious amounts of storage. The master also features an ensuite head with shower. With a sleek design by Vittorio Garoni, she is engineered and built to perform with ease. Her long waterline and centerline weight distribution offers a high quality cruising experience. On today's shoot, with six to eight foot swells, Princess Layla proved her seaworthiness and comfort underway. On behalf of myself and Denison Yachting, I thank you so much for joining us on today's video walkthrough. If you have any questions or would like more information, please feel free to contact me at any time.